Hey, Eric here with Complete MTG. This is weekly pickups number four. What you're looking at is the result of a box opening of Odyssey. Now I got this box in Spanish because it was so much cheaper than getting it in English. A uh, sealed box of English of Odyssey right now goes for about 230, and I picked up this box for $100. And that was an incredible deal, even for a foreign language box, uh, something that's not Japanese or Russian or something. Uh, in, you know, getting a box of Odyssey for $100, no matter what the language is, is an incredible deal. I got it for an upcoming video. I wanted to play sealed, um, but I didn't need any more cards of Odyssey. I already had my complete set. So I thought, well, I'll just get it in Spanish. I know Spanish well enough that I can uh, figure everything out. Now I got some interesting pulls, which is great. I got the Entomb. I got the uh, Emperor Cephalid dude. I got Kamal and I got a foil squirrel mob. Now foils happened a little bit differently during this time and something interesting happened in this pack. Now, nowadays, you get a foil, it's at the end of the pack, everyone knows that. Back in the day, you got the foil for whatever card was replacing it, so it came in place of that. So if you got a foil common, it was with the rest of the commons. If you got a foil rare, it was replacing the rare. And something interesting happened in this pack. I got two foils, uh, so I know that's pretty rare to have that happen, but it did. I got this, and then I got some foil common. I forget exactly which one it was now, but I thought that was pretty interesting. I've never had that happen before. Okay, so let's put these to the side. I just wanted to cover that really quickly and show you the results of this. I had to sleeve each one individually. As you can see, they're all sleeved, which took a lot of time. Anyways, I'm going to be using these to play some sealed pools. Okay, so now let's move on to um, the other cards. I'll move these out of the way and get to the cards that I picked up as part of my normally scheduled pickups for this week. All right, here we go. Back again. Now we've got the playmat out. I just got this playmat. I like it. I wish it was a different material. I thought it was a different material. I remember seeing someone at my LGS play with a mat very similar to this, and I thought this was it, and it had a more felt-type fabric, uh, whereas this one's a more polyester, plasticky feel, which I hate. Um, so uh, that's unfortunate, but hey, it's an extra play mat. It's cool, whatever. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna look at is I got a complete set of the dark here. Uh, now it was advertised as near mint, and most of these cards are, and when you get sets from an older period, you can't expect that they're all going to be, you know, like near mints, like just pulled from a pack like they are today. So you kind of go for accepting kind of more of a near mint minus. And just know that that's going to be what you're going to get. Unfortunately, there was a couple cards in here that were even less than near mint, such as the Maze of Ith, which is disappointing because it's one of the most expensive cards. I contacted the seller and said, hey, you know, this is, you know, not quite as acceptable as I expected. Got no response, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll see. Anyways, hopefully I can return that or just replace the cards that are in not quite as good condition. Okay, time for the singles. We're going to keep them upside down this time to increase the suspense. First card is Janun Ifrit. We're going to go through these kind of fast this week because I got a ton of them. Uh, so we're focusing on Arabian Nights right now. Picked up a bunch of Arabian Nights cards. Wyliff Wolf, I apologize if I mispronounce these. All Near Mint. Sandals of Abdallah. Mijay Jin. Really hard to say these Arabian Nights cards. Giant Tortoise, that one's easy to say. Ruck Egg, I guess. Flying Men. Flying Carpets, Ebony Horse, Island Fish Jaconius, I believe that was reprinted in uh, Revised, correct me if I'm wrong, Naf's Asp, Dancing Scimitar, Oops, Bird Maiden, Camel, Kuombaj Witches, Cyclone, Dandan, Dan? hope I'm saying these things right, Dandan, Desert, Desert Nomads, El Hajaj, Ur Graders, 
and other Ur graders. So something to point out in Arabian Nights. This set specifically, they did some alternate printing, so you can see the numbers here. You may not even be able to see the number on camera on the second one, but those are considered A version and B version, and when you're collecting a complete set, they do count. Um, so you, um, some of these have two of the same card uh, with slightly differences here or either the differences inside the box. I'm not quite sure why they did that. If you know why they did that, let me know. If it was just a mistake or they were testing something or it was on purpose. Eye for an eye. Fish liver oil. Another fish liver oil. Again, differences here. My recording stopped. So the differences on the fish liver here. Fish liver oil here. Same thing with the Hajaj dude. Gazban ogre. Another giant tortoise. Again, dark symbol versus light symbol. Hasran Ogress, which I actually have a signed version of. Not here, but in my binder. Another Hasran Ogus. Again, this is, excuse me, Ogress. This is an example of the symbol being different inside the text box. Her Jackal. Jeweled Bird. Picked a pull out of these. These aren't that expensive, luckily. Magnetic Mountain. The value is all in like three or four cards in Arabian Nights, plus a couple that are around the $100 range. Merchant Ship, Metamorphosis, Moorish Calvary, another Moorish Cavalry. I can't speak today. Moorish Cavalry. Differences there. Another Nafs Asp, Piety, another Piety, different symbol. Repentant Blacksmith. Sandstorm. Gosh, I hope I'm getting these right. I mean, obviously that one's right. I mean the other ones. Unstable Mutation. War Elephant. These are easier, huh? Another War Elephant. Different symbol. Why Luli Wolf. That's the second one as well, I think. Okay, so we got some unlimited cards as well. We got a Lich. Something I noticed about uh, most of the unlimited cards I have they all have these lines going down on the swamps. Every single one of them, swamp symbols. They're all like that, which is kind of interesting, I guess, to someone who is me. Sengir Vampire, unlimited near mint. And if you can see it, there's, there's that issue again. Sinkhole, well-known card, same issue with those line. Nettling Imp. This one's a little harder to see because it's right underneath the border, but it's there. Sacrifice. A Vesuvian doppelganger. This guy's a little bit more expensive. Probably see some play for sure. And one altered card. This is a foil balance. Look at that thing. Scourge Alters, thank you very much for sending this to me. This thing looks amazing. Uh, he kind of explained it to me. He uses um, the paint and then he just kind of waters it down a bunch so that it kind of spreads like a watercolor and then lets it dry for a long period of time uh, to get the effect that you can alter arts that are foils. Sounds very difficult. Um, and this just looks incredible. Uh, Eternal Masters balance. I mean, this is wow. When I saw this for the first time, I was just like, man, that is that is something. All right. Well, there we go. Thanks you so much for watching. If you're interested in trading with me, be sure to check out my trade video and my what I'm looking for video, uh, which will be linked in the description. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.